hi people so um today right now i just wanted to talk about this topic because i feel like i've neglected it and it's not right for me to neglect it so here's what i wanted to talk about i'm not a professional so i'm just giving you like tips on why i think this matters and the thing that matters is money why you should care about money and success i mean when i say success in this instance i mean material success because i feel like we neglect it we say we don't care about uh, money we shouldn't talk about money it has been made like a, a taboo to speak about money in certain situations people go like ah hey, you're doing youtube for the money you're doing this for the money and it it just has a bad connotation to it but here's a fact everyone needs to care about money because uh, even from a christian perspective money and wisdom have been classified as almost the same category the bible speaks about money same power as wisdom and here's the truth the painful truth no matter how wise you are and you're poor people won't listen to you that's a fact you know it's it's not a good fact but it's a fact you know so you know everyone should care you should care about money because money gives you the power to change situations in people's lives it gives you the power to change um community perspective of it because you find a lot of people with talent who cannot resource themselves you find people who are being um, taken advantage of because they lacked resources to go for let's say like stuff like education to be educated so they end up being placed in positions of disadvantage generation after generation let's just stop the stigma about i don't care about money it doesn't matter like even when you're pursuing your passion you still need the money and you still need and if you don't need the money per se you need the resource that money provides you need like let's say like in this line of work you need stuff like cameras you need stuff like laptops internet maybe you know events to spice up things because it's a relationship and people need uh okay besides the point you get so i hope that people aren't far removed from the fact that that matters and that should matter it shouldn't matter but it does matter it's you know and it's the way we support our people and a lot of people we listen to we listen to them not because uh we consider them particular particular it's not because you consider them wise it's because they have the power that money has given them so and to them because they have the power to control things because of the power they have through money so when you neglect the fact that money is important it's a hard time you'll have a hard time you know and um okay <laughs> oh lord i need more money you know money gives you privacy you get <laughs> okay i'm drifting away but you get like get money if you have like you're in a position where you've been gifted to get resources like get them like everyone has something you can offer you can exchange for uh like a butter trade you know you give them your energy your smarts and they pay you back you get okay it's getting awkward because i have company i have external company but anyway so yeah so as i was saying find a way to resource yourself find a way to invest in yourself uh read books on learning about money even if you don't like it like personally i find like i'm less interested in things that involve money but because i know i need to learn especially for the black community we need to pay more attention to our finances on investments on how we save and on where we um place our resources 
like we need it it's not even a like an option like it needs it needs to be a priority to everyone and i'm not just saying in the black community because i don't like separating people but i feel like in the black community it's the place where we neglect money stuff money issues and also uh, when it comes to money be very careful on where you invest because let me tell you people have played with my money <laughs> And it's the most, uh, it's like someone playing with your heart. Like, it's such a sensitive thing. So be careful about, don't just trust someone with money just because you're close or just because they seem like they know more than you do. You know, investigate, go have like conversations with people who know more about it so that you don't just put all your energy into something that will go to waste. And you know invest in uh, things that will outlast you things that will go for generations you know things like um that will feed into not just your kids lives but things that will help even your kids invest in their next generation like that sort of thing and if you feel like you're far behind on that platform because a lot of us are like don't underestimate yourself and don't lose hope like the best you can do is learn um work hard work smart pray to god because i feel like you can't do anything in life successfully unless you involve god believe in yourself gain the knowledge you get what i'm saying like gain the knowledge you need and uh, by the way, if I find uh, links, because I can't remember the names of about the people I usually follow to learn about money, I'll link them in the description below. Hopefully, I don't forget. But whatever I find, whether it's in this video or the next one, I will definitely post it. Or you can follow me on Instagram. Maybe I'll post it there. I don't know. One of the two or in both you know because it's important for all of us no matter your age your race to understand the power of money like in this life the most uh, important things in this life according to the word of god is wisdom and if wisdom uh, if money gives you the same power as wisdom i guess it's like the same class and love love and wisdom it's like the same class so you know don't neglect that because and the reason why i'm speaking about this is because oh yeah, the reason why i'm speaking about this is because i spoke about purpose so i wanted to come and clarify money does matter work hard work hard to invest in your life long term you know like save that lawyer fee you get yeah, so basically I wanted to speak about it because I did not want people to follow purpose and neglect the fact that they need to provide, you know, in some sort of way. If you're going to serve in any form, because purpose is a lot about serving, you will need resources. And sometimes the resources you need or the resources you provide require money. Not all of them, I don't know. Is there a resource? I don't know if there's a resource that doesn't require money. But yeah, if you're going to serve people, I feel like you need to be at a place of advantage. And what else? Uh, yeah, that's basically it. This is such a random <laughs> discussion. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. If you have any tips on uh, books that people can learn from about money, about investing about um things to watch out for oh by the way what's this guy's name ray i'll just link it in the description below because i can't remember the names when you learn about money learn from people who are actually doing more with their money and not just investing in nice cars and nice house. and i'm not saying that those things are bad but uh follow up with people who are using their money for the greater good like they're investing in communities they're investing in 
less privileged people uh, disabled people because I feel like even the disabled people are not spoken about as often as they should and also people who are investing in remote areas that can do a lot like let's say in Kenya like in Turkana like like come on it's been years and the people are still not getting the stuff the resources they're supposed to get so i feel like when you get the money when you get the resources it's easier to help people like those ones you educate them when you educate them not just about getting resources you educate people on how to acquire resources and go back into investing into their communities like let's say for example if you educate a certain group of people from turkana and they go and they make it in life like you've instilled in them the virtue of looking back you know honoring the place they're from investing in the places and the people they're from because we can't blame people for following old traditions when really no one has educated them or resourced them they're just living according to what they know and sometimes changing a community into living in the modern times requires education placing them at a place of power requires resources and all these things require finances you get so just to keep that in mind like you can follow your purpose you can follow like you can invest in your purpose while still investing you can actually do both or find a way to um, make sure that your purpose is feeding you and your community like your purpose is allowing you the freedom to serve more than just you and your family like we need to get to a place where we are serving more than just our families and our communities and getting the power to rely on ourselves to change the people who are connected to us because if we keep relying on God clearly <laughs> that's not going to happen that's like a lost cause like at this point i don't know if we have leaders who really care about our communities you know like people who care about the people and the change which is sad because i feel like this is a cycle like if you care about your family care about your community because everything is like life is like a circle you know everything that you put out will come right back to you if it doesn't come right back to you it's coming right back to your seed right back to the people who are around you you get so with that said we can't sit down and mop around and speak about we don't have this and that we need to find solutions instead of speaking about problems we've spoken about problems for a long time and nothing is changing actually everything is getting worse so let's find solutions let's find ways to empower ourselves and the first thing to empower ourselves is getting wisdom knowledge and understanding of who we are of who god is to us and who we are to god then the next one is who we are to people and the knowledge we need to acquire to help the people around us you know people who actually need it and helping people who will pass it on to the next person not just someone you help and it stops there and i'm not saying that don't help people who are selfish because the best way to teach people generosity is by being selfless you get yeah so I just wanted to make that clear if you have any question any um, topic you want me to expound on because I feel like I have so many random topics that the discussion is here and there like you can comment down below you can follow me on Instagram or on my blog I've tried to initiate interactions with people and I feel like it's very fulfilling because people always teach you something new. And what else? Yeah, so if you know something additional,
teach all of us this is a learning platform like i always say you learn from me i learn from you and be brave do whatever you want to do don't allow people to stop you and don't allow the fear of people to stop you you get yeah everything takes courage i just wanted to say it like a side note it's a long side note but you get what i'm saying yeah so love you te amo my people bye bye like share subscribe mina like chapa mina like chapa mina zipeleka banku kizipeleka ba mina like chapa <laughs>